A new concept for carbon dioxide capture using phase change ionic liquids, or PSILs, offers the potential to significantly reduce the cost of capturing CO2 from power plant flue gas. Recently, Notre Dame researchers observed that some PSILs form a liquid when they react with CO2, even at temperatures where they would normally remain solid. The PSIL shown in the reaction chamber is a solid at 40 degrees Celsius. The clock will show the elapsed time on the bottom left as the video has been accelerated for brevity. As CO2 is added, the solid white material begins to change phase. Within seconds, the material appears wet. By the end of the first minute, it is mostly liquid. Over the next few minutes, the liquid continues to become more transparent. To step back for a moment, what are ionic liquids? They're salts with low melting points. They're liquid at ambient temperatures. The University of Notre Dame is a leader in the design, synthesis, and characterization of ionic liquids. Some of the ILs Notre Dame has been developing have demonstrated slightly higher melting points than typical ionic liquids. The P-cells allow for novel process to capture carbon dioxide. The solid material can be used to absorb carbon dioxide from power plant flue gas. The CO2 can then be stripped from the P-cell absorbent for use in industrial processes or for long-term storage. But removing CO2 from the P-cell will cause it to resolidify, And as the P-cell solidifies, it necessarily generates heat. By using this heat of fusion to provide some of the energy required to release CO2 from the P-cell, we can reduce the total energy required for the CO2 capture and stripping process. This, in turn, will reduce the cost to capture CO2. Under this ARPA-E funded project, we will develop and characterize new P-cells, evaluate energy savings in new carbon dioxide capture process, and demonstrate the technology at a laboratory scale.